Welcome to McAllen Shine. Sergio, thank you. It's great. It's an honor to be here. Honor to be on this station, by the way. First time to the Valley? No, I've no. been here before. Um, a, a number of years back, I, we made a tr we, we made a number of trips along the border. Uh, we were down here by the Rio Grande, and we made our way all the way across different stops through El Paso, uh, Arizona, San Diego. I think we were about seven or eight eight places total. And so I have a really good understanding. I've, I've been out with the Border Patrol on horseback and helicopters, all-terrain vehicles, um, boats, you name it. We were out there. I was out there when people were getting arrested. Yeah. Um, I've seen a lot. I've been in the drug warehouses where they're literally – Massive square footage, you know, from from top to bottom, filled with drugs. Um, and it, I knew back then that this is a problem that's severe. Uh, what I always knew and understood is that when given the resources and the men and the women, and they get a specific area to cordon off, they could do it with 100% perfection. It's just we, we have not, as a country, made the decision to do that. What did you see on this tour to McAllen? Well, for, I, we were, first we were up in the air, you know, literally hugging the Rio and and um, with the governor. Who was with you? I was with the governor. Governor Governor Perry. Uh -huh. And and then we went up and down the, the river in a boat, and uh, we did see ten people that obviously wanted to cross, mm -hmm. but there was interdiction. They they were able to stop it. And, uh, you know, look, you just need to look on TV now. Um, I was at a briefing this morning where literally you've got these trains with people on the roofs of the trains and they're coming from, you know, El Salvador and Honduras and Guatemala. And uh, they know that if they get to America, they're, they're thinking in their minds and their heads that they're, they're getting to stay. The president said, well, many of them won't yesterday. But that to me is, is just a, it's like everything with government. We don't really solve the problem. And the problem is we haven't secured our border, and you have to ask why not. I think the bit, the biggest thing I learned today at this briefing was, you know, in the last seven years, there are recorded 624,000 crimes by illegal immigrants in the state of Texas. And we're talking everything from murder and rape, human trafficking, drugs, robbery, home invasion. You know, you go through the gamut. And it's so unnecessary. We're not doing the job of protecting people in this community and, and around the country. Just wondering, did you get to see at the Border Patrol stations the um, the holding tanks? With any I, I did not. I was not allowed to go in there. But you were not allowed to go in there? No, I don't know. Well, I wouldn't say, you know what, I wouldn't say that. It was wasn't, not part of the tour? Maybe wasn't part, it wasn't part of the tour. Okay. Uh, right. yeah. I, w I was told before I got here that if I was able to go to any of the areas where any of the kids were, that we weren't allowed to bring cameras in or any type of electronic device. Do you think that's right? Um... Actually, no. I, I I would I would think that we ought to be the able to go in there. You know why? Have. I think they're afraid based on yes. the health, the health issues. I think there's a healthy fear on their part, <clears throat> um, and I think they're trying to control media access to it because the conditions oh, are slovenly. Are. Look, in today's briefing, they showed me the pictures. I saw what they had a series, of, what six nine pictures up there, overcrowding. We know what the disease issues have been, um, and and not the conditions you'd ever want anybody in. I think the reason that you and I are talking here in McAllen today is because I know you're a dad, I'm a dad, mm -hmm. and when we see the kids and this, the, the pictures that have been smuggled out of these detention facilities for the Border Patrol, nothing against Border Patrol. They're doing the best that they can with they're, what they they're, have. They're, they're stretched but thin. But in a room that is the size of the studio, to have 100 people in there, and they're sleeping pretty much on top of each other every single night before they get processed out, and released and sent over to the HHS, right. Health and Human Services det uh, Detention Facility up at Lackland. It's just a bad situation. The morale is very low among the Border Patrol uh, rank and file. Uh, I find it beyond irresponsible that the Commander-in-Chief did not make time to come down here and pat the Border Patrol on the back. Forget changing his mind on the issue. Just come down here and support the Border Patrol for what they're doing. Come down here and say hello to the people totally that agree. are doing the Benevolence Project in downtown McAllen. It providing meant, I can assistance. tell you this. It meant a lot. To every one of them, and I can see it on their faces when the governor told them how proud he was of the great work they're doing. Had a big impact. So, but, but I agree. But on the president, why not come down here? You know, you, we've got two issues going on simultaneously. The briefing today, I think the real eye opening news is that you have criminal enterprises, organized crime, drug cartels, 
human trafficking cartels. And for them, this is all about money and corruption and illegal activity. And while the Border Patrol is being distracted, having to deal with these kids, we're a mm-hmm. compassionate nation. We're not going to take it out on the kids. We're going to give them medical care. We're going to feed them. I think ultimately we need to reunite them with their moms and dads. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's just the way we are. But while the Border Patrol and 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 uh, law enforcement officials are distracted, they're moving forward. And that's why Texas DPS is responding by coming to back up yeah. and provide some security yeah. on the border. A lot has been said about the 2008 law that allows for this loophole. Mm-hmm. Mexican children, they show up, they get deported immediately. But anyone else, OTNs, other than Mexicans, they are allowed to stay if they get, surrender themselves and claim that they, they need get, help. And they are allowed to say, we, we are being flooded because that word has gotten through Central America that they can abuse that loophole. But a, but a month ago, the president said that he wanted the flex ability to change it. He wasn't being honest. He met with the ACLU and a number of other radical left-wing groups, and they implored him not to. And if the president wanted it changed, that would be changed immediately. You know, the president tried to turn everything into politics yesterday and say, well, the Republicans need to support our bill. No, we need to be able to deport people yes. compassionately, yes. humanely, expeditiously. These kids need to be re- reunited with their mothers and fathers. I'm going to ask you two favors before we yep. finish. Please help us crack the nut at Health and Human Services. <laughs> they are using the military. I'd love to. Please, friend. You have the bully pulpit. You, Glenn Beck, mm-hmm. even Rush. Um, I know I might be asking too much, and Glenn may show up to the Valley some. I know he's trying to provide some benevolence. He told me yesterday he was going to come down. Assistance. And, and yeah. we need the bully pulpit. We need America to wake up. I am begging you, brother. Please help us crack the nut at Health and Human Services. We have myriad questions about these kids, about their care. Are they going to school pretty soon? How long are they going to stay in the country? How do you find the family? How do you get them back? Mm-hmm. They are, they are they're not answering your questions. They, they are unaccountable, and they're using the military at Lackland Air Force Base mm-hmm. as cover. Please help us crack that nut. That is unacceptable. I agree with uh, you. And, and please use your bully pulpit for that.